We're in the Musée de Louvre looking at one of the great Jacques-Louis David paintings, The Oath of the Horatii, probably his most important painting. Well, and just an incredibly important painting, even at its time, not just sort of looking back art historically, it's from 1784, but it had enormous meaning to the French revolutionaries. It did, a couple of years later, when, the, re years later, when, the, right. when the revolution would break out, but it had an enormously powerful impact even when it was first shown at the Salon in 1785. It was painted not in Paris, where we're seeing it and where it was exhibited, actually here in the Louvre, but was painted in, in Rome. David had won that important prize for a young painter, the Prix de Rome. But he had gone to Rome and ended up studying not this great Baroque canvases that were expected to be looked at, but to go back further to the ancient Roman and even to the Greek mm -hmm. tradition. And we can see that here. Very, very much so. These figures look like ancient Greek sculptures. The, the notion of the Greek tradition and of the early Republic and Roman tradition was really one about rationalism and truth and those were and no, a kind of real, true nobility of character and heroism veracity. and virtue yeah Yes, and, truth. And this was, was in and of itself a very radical set of political ideas in yes. 1785. In, in complete opposition to the sort of perceived lifestyle of the French nobility. Um, that's right, of, of the nobility of the king, which was all seen as excess and, and right. was seen as destroying the state. Yes, and if you look at this painting, it, it, it looks so, I mean, it must have even looked in 1785 when it was exhibited, so pared down, so stark, Clarified. so simplified. As, Rationalized, yeah, really. Think about the brushwork and looseness and openness of... of the poetic of, qualities of the Rococo right. that this was in direct opposition to. Direct this, opposition This neoclassicism, this yes. new classicism. So this style is, the style that David is inventing, it's just packed with political meaning. So when this was shown in 1784, 1785, we're still a few years before the revolution will break out in 1789. Yes, but, but it's expressing those values. And ultimately, the French will look back at this painting and see it as a symbol of the revolution that yes. will come. The canvas itself is representing this founding act of the nation of, of ancient Rome. That's right. The three Horatii brothers are about to go to war. On the left. Right, and they represent Rome. Okay. And they're, they're, they're taking an oath on the swords held aloft by, by their, their father, father right. this patriarch. And they're, they're taking an oath to, to give their lives. And what about the women. For Rome. Okay, but what about the women on the right? They're in such direct opposition. The men are virile and strong and upright, and, and their muscles are hard. But the women, they're so... Yeah, they're so curvy and weepy. And, it's and, so sexist, yeah. really, isn't it? Well, and, and the idea being that the women are not, as a sex, as a gender, women are not capable, according to the Enlightenment thinkers, women are not capable of the kind of heroic self-sacrifice for a principle, for an idea that women are too wrapped up in their families and their emotions. And that's central to the narrative here, isn't yes, it? Yes, because so, the, the three Horatii brothers are about to go to war with this neighboring city of Alba, but one of the brothers on the other side, on the opposing side, is married to one of their sisters. Ah, uh, and, the, and these brothers, the Horatii, will actually win. Yes, and they're going to come back victorious and find their sister, one of their sisters, weeping. Because she's married to the to man who was killed. He was killed by, by her brothers. And Ooh. so she's going to say, you, you killed my husband, the father of my children. How could you so what's David's point then? Um, well, and the brother is going to kill the sister. <sighs> so he actually kills his sibling. That's right. Because she's so weak in, in her allegiance to their enemy. To a kind of, right, and, to, and, and her concern for the personal, ah. instead of this bigger picture of Rome and what Rome is to become. So how, does that, how is that relevant to France in 1785? Well, right, well, if you think about it, you know, the, the French revolutionaries are about to sacrifice their own lives for the so this principles is really of a democracy. Call, so this is really a call for truth, a kind of call for valor, a, a kind of call for intense patriotism. Patriotism. patriotism, love of country. So precisely what the what the ministers to the king were in a sense Freedom, being democracy. accused of not being involved with. Exactly. Um, a kind of self-indulgence right. and so this is and concern for personal pleasure. And so this is really turning the Rococo on its on its head. Completely. In a sense. And, and thereby sort of in, in a way kind of attacking the nobility. This must have been a truly 
powerful and intense moment in the history of art. Yes, and also expressed probably through the forms. So rational. Yes, it's like a a grid that's laid out. I mean, this could not be more different than the sort of incoherent, dreamlike spaces of of the Rococo style, right? right? And there is this incredible use of light also that rakes across the surface right. of those bodies and really highlights the power and the strength of those muscles of the skeleton the yes. skeletal structure. Yes. Well, actually, David had been studying um, some of the relief sculpture yes, uh, in obviously. ancient Rome. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's sort of that interest in anatomy. It you know it comes from that classicism, from looking at ancient Greek and Roman sculpture, from Renaissance art, but also I think speaks to that interest in the rational, in science. That is, this is, is really in, the age of the, the Enlightenment, the ancient, isn't it? In, in the yeah. rational space that David set up, all that in different. and of itself becomes heroic. Yes, yeah, absolutely.